Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me in this Wolfenstein series. I'm going to work on texturing this pole and rope-like thing in uh, Substance Painter. Alright, so what I've done is, of course, in a previous video I modeled this. I have UV unwrapped it and now I am ready to export this to Substance Painter. So I'm going to select it all and export. Okay, here is my posts. You'll notice I've got two materials on it. I've got the post metal, which is all of this stuff, and I've got the rope. And of course, I'll mirror this over uh, in Blender, so only have to do it once. First thing to do is to bake the mesh maps. I'm gonna add an ambient occlusion channel, and bake, and I'm gonna go for just 1024. Use low poly as high poly, and uncheck ID. Now this is going to be very simple. I'm going to start with the post metal, delete the default layer, go to smart materials, and I'm going to use this bronze armor. Again, I'm not sure if I have uh, downloaded this from Substance Share or if it comes default, I don't remember. I'm just going to drag that in, and I'm going to use it as is. That's all I need to do. Uh, I want sort of a shiny, slightly dusty, dirty metal. So that goes on the post and it goes on this piece. And that's good enough. Now I'm going to switch over to the rope. Get rid of that. Let's make a fill layer. And for this, I am going to need color, height, and roughness. So I'm going to uncheck metal and normal. I'll give this a, a default sort of um, red color. And I am ready to begin. With that done, I'm going to come over to the procedurals and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for fibers 2 and I want to put that on the height channel. So I'm going to drag that in to here. You can start to see something happening here. Come down to patterns and I'll start scrolling this up and go for about 5. Now I'm going to add levels. I'm going to switch this to height. Play around with this a little bit. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to here. We'll rotate this. Adjust the scale. down a shift and we go starting to get what we want okay back to the levels and now we can play around with these to start to get the effect that we want this will accentuate the curve Say we were going for something like that. Now it's a little bit sharp. So I'll come over here. I'm going to add a filter. And I'm going to look up blur. See, and just a tiny bit of blur. Not too much. A nice small amount of blur to make it look like that. think it's a little bit shiny for a fabric material so I'll come over here to the roughness and bring that up until it starts looking a little bit more like fabric okay cool One more HSL And here I could change the color if I wanted to. I do want that reddish kind of look. I could desaturate it 
just a little bit like that. And that is what I am going for right there. Okay, cool. Let's save that and export those textures. Back in Blender, I'm going to switch over to the shading tab. Focus just on that for the moment. Post Metal, select my principal BSDF and Shift Control T. Post Metal. Okay, there it is. Shift Control T. There's the rope. I'm going to add the mirrors back on. And there's my scene so far. All right, so I still have the books and binders and documents to do and that glass divider. But that's how she's starting to look. And I'm liking it a lot so far. I hope you think uh, it looks cool. And we'll see you in the next video.